factor the following expression completely, 6x squared minus 3x minus 8x plus 8 test, we will actually have to fill in the value, so I do want to work this problem out. Another way to do this problem is simply to match with what you've got up there. Um, but as I flip over to my paper, what um, I want to point out here is that we could factor by grouping right now because there are one. So I'm just going to go ahead and group those two together and group these two together and see what happens. We could have combined that middle term there, but I, I think we're going to be okay. The greatest common factor from the first group between 6 and 3, the biggest number that divides into both, is 3. And when we factor out a 3x, 6 divided by 3 is 2, x squared divided by x is x. Again, a reminder is there for our next group, but in our next group, uh, between 8 and 4, the biggest number that divides into both is 4, is positive 2x, and positive 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. And then what we see, and then what's left over in the first group is 3x, what's left over in the second group is minus 4, and then we go back to momentum and we try to compare. 2x minus 1.